what it's like to travel to China for the Olympics. Minions. Minions everywhere. After 12 hour travel, we made it. Let's go Olympics. Here's five things you might not know about the Winter Olympic Games. The name of the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympic torch is flying. The skeleton track at Beijing 2022 has the first ever 180 degree corner of any Winter Olympic Games. Until 1992, the Summer Olympic Games and the Winter Olympic Games were held in the same year. The Winter Olympic Games have never been hosted in the Southern Hemisphere. Five venues for Beijing 2022 will be reused from the Beijing 2008 Summer Olympic Games. Eventually freezing on 2022 Beijing, China. Now the Ladies parade of athletes. Please welcome the athletes of the Olympic Winter Games, Beijing 2022. And now to the moment for Team GB to make their entrance into the Bird's Nest Arena. What an honor for both Eve Muirhead and Dave Riding, the flag bearers for Team GB. You can hear the atmosphere build. But he looks at me, and I look at him, and he looks at me, and I look at him, and he looks at me, and I look at him. <laughs> okay, so I've been posting some Olympic content and you guys seem to love it. So today I figured I'll show you the mountains here in China and they're truly special. Some of the craziest environments I've ever skied in my entire life and I've basically skied all across the world. So this is a pretty cool experience. So first of all, we got the heli spot here in case of injuries and here's the water source for ejection of the snow to make it icy. And this is where it gets fascinating. Can you guys see that there's no snow here almost? Well, that's because it doesn't snow here. Um, the whole place is literally built only for the Olympics. So it's only snow where the events take place. So you can see we're skiing down the ridge line here, which is just awesome. It looks so surreal. And it's freezing cold here. As you can see the amount of clothes I'm wearing. 
that's me with a cool backdrop hey there and yeah that's basically it tell me if you guys want to see some more see what the boys are up to Clocking in at an impressive 15 hours, we have Annalise Jr. sleeping all day long. This is how Olympians are fed inside the Olympic bubble. First you sanitize your hands using this machine, then you make your way over here, grab these gloves, put those on, and then make your way inside the cafeteria. The cafeteria is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Uh, starting with drinks, they have hot and cold. And then you make your way over here and grab a food tray and head over to start picking the food you want. They have a salad bar, pizza, pasta, foods from various places around the world as well as vegetarian options. Here they have desserts, Chinese food, uh, different specialty type foods. And they've got all you can eat ice cream. Make sure everybody's being safe. You wear these gloves and masks whenever you're touching anything. Uh, then you grab these utensils and you eat in these little cubicles. And if that wasn't enough, you take the elevator one floor down where you have all you can eat, KFC and Pizza Hut. I'm not much of an athlete, that's for sure. Hey, but I would probably go for the gold in ventriloquism. What about you, darling? I'd go for the gold in singing. Here is part two of ranking the Winter Olympic team's kits. Russia won last round, so let's see which country ends up with the gold this time. Team USA is lucky enough to have three sponsors this Olympics. So athletes aren't just gonna wear skims the whole time. So they have Ralph Lauren as a sponsor, Nike, and also skims. I'm gonna break this down and focus on Ralph Lauren first. This look, chef's kiss. The turtleneck is beautiful. It looks so thick and warm. I love the flag, I love the rings. This jacket is very striking. I love the addition of plaid, and overall, this look is great. Now, Ralph Lauren also did this look here. Not a huge fan of this. To me, this says like Expedition to the Moon, SpaceX were exploring the universe for the first time. I do like they incorporated gloves, and I do like the toques as well. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the skims. It is amazing when you can get some high-end designers to sponsor you, but designers don't always hit the mark when it comes to gear. And while this is comfortable, it's not necessarily super functional. This set right here is really cute. It looks really warm. However, it is white, so it's probably gonna get dirty real fast. And how long did the Skims products actually hold up for? Like how many washes is it gonna take for this to shrink and the athlete to just never wear it again? I do think it's cool. It's, it's out of the box. But overall, I would have to give the skims a seven out of 10. But I think Ralph Lauren smashed it. Look at the boots as well. I would give Ralph Lauren an eight and a half out of 10. Up next, we have Team Sweden. These kits are actually sponsored by Uniqlo, which is interesting because it's a Japan built company. And as we see from Team USA and Team Canada, they've opted to go with their local uh, country's designers. That being said, I think Uniqlo made a really cool kit here. There's versatility, there's a smaller puffer, there's a larger winter jacket. This brand is known for its functional lifestyle wear and I, I think they did a good job here. Here you can actually see that they are sponsoring uh, the snowboarding and the skiing team and I love that they did the jacket in all yellow. I think this really makes the athlete stand out. I think it hits the mark, I don't think it's anything crazy different, it's not breaking any barriers, so I'll give it a seven out of 10. Next up is the Czech Republic. The kit is sponsored by Alpine Pro, which is an outdoor company. So one of the things I really love about this kit is the mittens and the hat. It's giving me that nostalgia from when Team Canada also had those similar mittens and I want a pair. This just kind of looks like your standard snowboarding kit that you would just see on a ski hill, but I think they did a good job. So seven and a half out of 10. The Ralph Lauren Team USA kit won this round. Stay tuned for part three. I've partnered with Sega to do the Everyday Olympian Challenge, and I've decided to do a big fat tortoise race. It's Max versus Zippy. Let's see what happens. Zippy is making strides on the field. Can Max Beleg Day catch up? It's not looking like it. Zippy is miles ahead, and oh my god, Zippy is the winner! 
Give the Everyday Olympian challenge a go. Hopefully you'll do better than me. This is how you take trash out like an Olympian. Uh, can you throw those cans away before you leave? All you do is just mag, mag, mag. Oh yeah? Well that was the wrong bin. Well, how about that? Hmm. Ross, I'm so sick of picking up your slippers all over the apartment. You know what? How about I just throw it in the trash? Really? for cleaning up my family's mess. Wow, Bob, she has really worked on her form this year. Oh, she makes it just in time. It is amazing how far she's come. She has worked really hard at this technique. It's amazing to see her progress. A gold medal goes to... Is that another mess? Disqualified! <laughs> Bro, how, like, how did this, how did I even get this thing? Do you see this dive right here? There's no reason I should have this. Olympic caliber right there, baby.